Holly the Twister sister. I'm cutting it kind of close this week because it's Tuesday right now and I'm filming. I'm going to try to edit this and get it out today to hit our tutorial Tuesday. Um, baby is napping back in the house, so I'm going to go fast. Anyway, we're going to learn how to make a sheep. I did a sheep in the kids' corner video last week with the Mary Had a Little Lamb, and I haven't taught that one before, so I want to show you guys what how to make this cute little sheep that I came up with for that video. So to make this one, you're going to need a white and a black 260, and then you're also going to need a couple 5-inch rounds. I've got four or five white 5-inch rounds, and then two black 5-inch rounds. I'm going to start with my black 5 inch rounds. I'm actually going to use a hand pump for this part so I can blow them both at the same amount. So I'm going to do one, two pumps and take it off, blow a little air out, and tie it off. Do the same thing for your other black balloon. One, two, take it off, blow a little air out so it's the same size, and we'll just tie tie this one separate. I was going to say tie them together, but don't tie them together. Okay? We're going to twist both of these in half like we're making eyeballs. So get the nozzle in the middle and then twist into two bubbles. Same thing for this one. A helpful way to do that is to put these two bubbles in between your pinky and ring finger and then you have these three fingers free to twist the other bubble in half. Okay? And then we're going to combine these just by twisting them around each other. That's so going to be the feet, the little base of our shoe. Okay, next I'm going to blow up four white five inch rounds. And same thing, I'll use my hand pump so that they're all the same size. So about two pumps on each one. And you can tie these together. So once you get the second one inflated, you don't have to tie it off. You can just tie it directly to your first one. So I made a little pair. And then we're going to make another pair with our next two. If you have a Legenda or one of the other electric pumps, you can probably do this even faster because you can play them both at the same time and just do one tie instead of two. Okay, so I've got my two pairs and I'm gonna join them together just by twisting around each other. And I'm gonna take the nozzle from the middle of one of these we're just going to wrap it around the feet nice and tight. Just get it tucked in there. Get all that connected. So we've kind of made like this quad base, except it's going to be more like this. And we're going to put the sheep's face right about here. Okay? So to make his face, you're going to take your 260s, one white and one black. And I put about four pumps of air in them. Doesn't have to be too much. We're not going to use all of this. Do the same thing for both balloons. And you can tie these together. Okay, we're going to start off with the white. We're going to do a large pinch twist. So make a small bubble or a large bubble and turn that into a pinch twist. And you're going to come across about two inches or so and do another large pinch twist. So a round bubble, make it a pinch twist. Okay? Then we're going to come back. So bring your white back into the first pinch twist, and twist it in. Okay? And we're done with the white, but you want to leave a nice long tail when you cut it off. I'm going to come out here to the end and leave a nice long tail for myself. And just keep track of that. We're going to make its ears really quick. So squeeze your balloon out. The black balloon, you're going to fold it over and twist it. Okay, now you're going to bring the black across in front of the white bubbles and twist it into the other pinch twist. And then you're going to make the other little black ear. So it's another loop, the same size as this one. So squeeze your balloon out so it's nice and soft, fold it over and twist. That's going to be his face. And we're going to do the same thing with this blue and leave a nice long tail. Okay? Now, with both of our tails, this is the front of the head. We've got two white bubbles in the back. We're going to take our tails towards the back and just tie them in a double knot. 
So you've got a little space here. This could almost be like a sheep head bracelet. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna take that and we're gonna take it over the top of our quads here. So I'm gonna kind of show you. Usually I'll do these two white balloons in the middle here. I'm gonna take this head and plant it in the front and pull my unplanned balloons back up over and around those white balloons, okay? So there is our basic sheep shape. <laughs> and you can leave it like this and put some eye stickers on. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. I've got the three quarter inch print your own eye stickers, which you can get on my website, thetwistersister.com. You can print as many of them as you want. So it looks really cute like that. Or you can actually add another balloon if you want and make eyes with the balloon. So I'm gonna do a five inch round and I'm just gonna blow it up a little bit. Enough for two eyes, tie it off. I'm gonna twist it in half. Nice and good. And then I'll take these eye stickers off. And you're gonna place, take the tail of your eyes, you're gonna put it down in front of the white bubble on top, and then coming out the back. That's good. And just take it around this first five inch round. head in place. So there is the sheep with balloon eyes. And then you can put stickers on here also, or you can just draw the eyes on. And there's your little sheep. I guess it's a lamb since it's from Mary Had a Little Lamb. But anyway, that's a quick, simple sheep. I hope that you guys like it. It doesn't take too much time, especially if you have an electric pump and you can do all the rounds, double them up at the same time. Um, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to check out the twistersister.com for the print your own eye stickers, balloon animal t-shirts, and other apparel and accessories. It's all over there at twistersister.com. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys. I'm gonna do another kids video this week. So be on the lookout for that if you have little ones. Hopefully they'll enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.